Will Christchurch become an international cycling city? Well, more than $150 million of funding has been granted for the city cycleways, but will that actually improve road courtesy? Christchurch's $156 million cycleway project has received more money than expected from the government. It was announced last Thursday the government would contribute $41.6 million to fast-track seven of the city's 13 planned cycleway routes. The seven cycleways will cost $65 million to build, but the government's contribution means it will now cost the council just $23.5 million. Spokes Canterbury Chairman Don Babe couldn't be happier with the outcome. We've got our own city council who are deciding that cycling is, needs to be a transport option going forward. And we've got a national government that is saying, hey, we think cycling is important from a national point of view. The lack of driver courtesy for cyclists is seen as a common issue, but Don says there isn't much of a problem as we may think. The attitude of motorists is not as bad as it is often painted in the media. Um, I, you know, I do, I do about 40 k's a day. So that's, um, I'm not a particularly fast cyclist, it takes me two hours, so I'm about 10 hours a week on a bike. Um, and most of the people I wave to and say thanks for letting me in or thanks for going wide or thanks for waiting behind me while I go through a little skinny patch. Very seldom am I getting uh, annoyed because someone has done something wrong. He says if there are more cyclists on the roads, the more drivers will look out for them. As we get more and more cyclists, people become more aware of them. Like if, you know, if you're going down to the, to the stop sign at the end of your road and you see a cyclist going by when you're stopped there once every three months, well, you're not really going to think about them. But if you see five go by every single day, yeah, they become a part of the scenery. The project hopes to see Christchurch turn into a world-class cycling city. However, Don says there's still a long way to go. We've got a long, long, long way to go to be um, even in probably the top 20 cycling cities in the world. Um, you know, the cities overseas have been doing this for a number of years. The funding assistance was a part of a national $333 million government investment. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.